Hello everyone, I wanted to quickly comment about the third party candidates. As you probably saw, the Jill Stein and Gary Johnson were not on the stage for the presidential debate last night. The, uh, Gary Johnson and Bill Weld, I know, had a little questionnaire session with a news group. So by no by all means, don't be discouraged. I don't think it's don't think it's stupid to vote for them. I, I still really think, uh, based upon how nasty this election becomes with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and how unsatisfied or dissatisfied people are with the two nominees, in like four or eight or twelve years, there could be a really viable third party movement that moves in and replaces one of the two parties. So don't be discouraged and you know don't think it's stupid to support them. I, by all means, do so. It's there's no reason in a voting for someone that you really doesn't think represents your interests. If you really are dissatisfied, really disgusted with the two parties, go ahead and vote for Gary Johnson, you know, uh, Jill Stein, or whoever. Um, well, as I've said earlier many times, I mean, it has to be repeated because there's this constant attack on third parties. It, you know, our, our democracy is not for just two parties. I mean, it's inherently designed or it, it gives way to two parties, but there's so many perspectives that cannot be expressed in this, well, Democrat, Republican. Why can't there be a mix? Why can't there be a gradient? So by all means, third parties have a great purpose. A, you know, by all means, don't worry about supporting them. And hopefully, you know, in eight to twelve years, we'll have a gen, you know, a real threat to the Republican and Democrats, so they can't just, oh, well, take it for granted that they're going to be one of the two parties on the ballot. So thank you very much for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your day, and bye bye.